Hey guys, Hackisploit here, back again with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your VPN with proxy chain so that it works together with Kali Linux or Parrot OS uh, in a virtualized environment. Okay, so I'm going to assume that you already have selected your VPN at uh, your VPN provider. If you haven't, I would recommend NordVPN. You can check them out with the link in the description. That being said, I'm not going to promote anything else. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this and uh, whether or not it increases your security and I'm going to answer that in a second but before I actually do that I just want to say that um, I am making the videos dependent uh, and in regards to the chronological order uh, in which you guys posted them so for example uh, we have the two other guides coming out uh, we have the complete anonymity guide and the complete system hardening guide uh, that was requested by Mr. GFY, I'm just going to call you that. So if you are watching this, Mr. GFY, uh, that video is also coming out. Uh, the SS7 video was rejected by YouTube, so I'll have to upload it to the site. Uh, what else? Let me see um, quickly before we move on. The web application penetration testing series is still ongoing. That being said, let's get started with the video. Okay, so I already have NordVPN opened and I'm connected to a server in the United Kingdom. All right, now many people were asking, can I use my VPN uh, in conjunction with Kali Linux? And then can I also use proxy chains? And will it increase security? The answer is yes, it will increase security, but at what expense or at what cost, you might be asking. Well, uh, what you're sacrificing is speed. Okay, now again, for most of you, this might not be an issue, but depending on the speed of your IS, uh, of your VPN service or your ISP, you know, you have to take that uh, all into, co into consideration. Uh, so again, what I'm saying is uh, your VPN might slow down your speed to a certain extent uh, and th there's no questions asked there. And then as we know, proxy chains is also very slow because it is going through a series of proxies uh, and uh, under the Tor network. Uh, that's if you're using the Tor relay. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend that you do is on your host operating system, which I'm guessing is going to be Windows, but it could be Linux. You must change your domain name server. Uh, all right, now... Uh, usually with most of the good VPNs like NordVPN, they will automatically use the domain name server in the, uh, well, essentially in the location of that server. So for example, if you're United Kingdom, it's going to use a DNS from the United Kingdom. And now I'd, again, I do recommend that you use uh, a safer one, probably like Cloudflare's uh, or whatever you choose to use. Uh, that's all up to you. So make sure you have uh, your domain name uh, server changed or you can choose to use the one that your uh, VPN is providing you with. Whatever you choose, it's up to you. Now, I have Kali Linux opened here, and uh, the settings that you guys were asking me is how to configure it with my virtual machine. Now, you're also asking me whether I should, you should install two instances of your VPN, one on your host operating system and one on your um, virtual machine. And the truth is you don't need to do that. What you should do is you should use your host operating system's IP address on your virtual machine, if that's what you're looking for. Now you might be asking, well, why should I do this? Why can't I just run it on your virtual machine? The truth is you can run it on your virtual machine, but again, we're focused on minimizing the resources that are required by the virtual machine. So it's, uh, it's, I would recommend that you run everything on your host operating system in regards to connections and uh, VPNs, and then you can use your uh, penetration testing operating system for what it's used for, which is penetration testing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to configure that with your VM. So you want to go into your VM settings. I'm going to be using VMware. Uh, the settings should be the same for VirtualBox, although as I mentioned, I'm really getting out of uh, out of touch or, um, I'm, uh, well, VirtualBox is not my favorite at the moment. So VM, and you want to go into your settings, all right? And uh, you want to go into your network adapter. And instead of bridged, uh, you can go for NAT, all right? Now, what this means is it's going to use it's going to use your host operating your host operating system's IP address. So that means it's going to use Windows IP address, which in this case is the VPN's IP address that is provided to us. So now, Kali Linux will also be connected to the VPN, all right? So once you do that, just hit OK. And uh, for safe precaution, you can also change your your DNS settings here, and you can also restart your network manager uh, just in case, uh, but it should do it for you as you can see, there we are, it is connected. And uh, what we can do now is run a DNS leak test, just to show you, all right, so let me just open the DNS leak test here, it turns out I was using the DNS leak test, all right, so there we are, let's open that up, and as you can see, it's using uh, United Kingdom, and I'm gonna perform a standard test to show you that it does use uh, the, the domain name server in the country that the server lies. 
So you can see it's United Kingdom. Now, you're asking me if I can use proxy chains in conjunction with my uh, VPN. And the truth is, yes, you can, but you're going to sacrifice a lot of speed. All right. So the first thing, again, uh, since we're using the Tor relay or the Tor proxy uh, is make sure you have Tor started. I'm going rest to restart mine. Service Tor restart. And then you can use your proxy chains. Uh, well, again, as I said, you can use proxy chains in an instance with any program. So proxy chains, uh, this time we're going to use Firefox because we are testing the IP here. Firefox and DNS leak test. Sorry about that. DNS leak test.com. Um, you know, my, my keyboard is quite far away from me. DNS and that's the wrong spelling there. Uh, leak, leak test. There we are. And let me hit enter. And uh, for some reason, um, it's still showing United Kingdom and I think I know why is because we did not close down Mozilla. So make sure you start a completely new instance. So let me start that again. And as you can see, random chain is working. So give that a few seconds to load up and you'll see that it is going to take significantly longer than with your VPN. As you can see uh, from United Kingdom, we're now bouncing off to Sweden, which as you can see is uh, quite different. So I'm going to perform a standard test and let's see what DNS that we are given here. Uh, this should not load up. That's because we're using the top proxy. And this is where uh, essentially, well, looks like we are using um, we are using a German one, which is being provided to us uh, by the proxy. But again, make sure that your your first DNS uh, or the your, the first DNS server that your traffic is going to be flowing through is a secure one, because this one won't matter even if uh, you know if your first one was going through your ISP. So again, make sure your host operating system has a uh, trustworthy DNS and then make sure that your you know, Kali Linux is also running a trustworthy DNS. And then after that, you pretty much should be absolutely anonymous. And as you can see, uh, proxy change is working really, really well with your VPN. Uh, that being said, that's going to be it for this video. If you found value in this video, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section or on my social networks, or you can also post your questions on my website. Uh, for the latest hacking news and resources, you can check out my website, hsploit.com. And that's going to be it for this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.